The Artemis 1 Orion spacecraft splashing in the Pacific Ocean Sunday afternoon off the coast of Baja, California. Splashdown. You don't celebrate till you see it splash down. You've known that that heat shield works and those parachutes work. Flight engineers using a so-called skip entry where the spacecraft traveling at 25,000 miles per hour hits the Earth's atmosphere, skipping off it like a rock on a lake, then re-entering and splashing down. This whole mission has just been unbelievable. It's, it's been so almost perfect. Of course, there are a lot of things that go wrong, but they know how to fix them. So they've been able to add test in the course of the 25 day mission. This skip maneuver lessens the G-forces astronauts are subjected to during re-entry, minimizing recovery time. With this particular uh, spacecraft, now we're gonna be able on our next launch to put our crew members on board. So this is a huge day for us. NASA says new technology that wasn't available in the 60s and 70s will enable them to learn more than they could during the Apollo missions. What we're trying to do is understand what it's like to live on another planetary body before we go on to Mars. If all goes as planned, the next flight would be Artemis II in 2024, which would have four astronauts on board for a lunar flyby, then Artemis III, tentatively slated for 2025, which would fulfill NASA's goal of putting a woman and a person of color on the surface of the moon. Monaco Sarabdi, ABC News, New York.